Hi, good morning. Today we are going to discuss about the integration testing, top-down approach, bottom approach, hybrid approach, difference between stub and driver. These things we are going to discuss. The previous session, which I explained about the integration testing approaches. One is Big Bang approach, other one is incremental approach. Why this kind of approach are there? Because in practical, it may not be possible to complete the construction of the, all the models at a time. Due to that reason, based on the availability of models, how to go for the integration testing? Maybe saving account is under construction or fund transfer may be under construction. Some models already developed. Based on this scenario, how to do the integration testing? Means we have the two kind of approaches are given. One is comes under, so one is Big Bang approach. The other one is called incremental approach. What is this Big Bang approach? Is integrate or combine all the modules once, then verify the interface or coexistence relation among those modules. When all the modules are at a time, once you have to do the integration testing. So, if some case, some modules are under construction, then we have to wait until those modules also develop to start the integration testing. What is the disadvantage? Time consuming and resource will be ideal. In order to overcome that, we have the second approach given, incremental integration testing approach. So, this approach says that even some of the modules are under construction, we can start the integration testing by using some temporary programs like stub and driver here we have the three types of approaches under incremental integration testing top down approach bottom -up approach hybrid or sandwich approach the first one top down approach what is this approach says that so this approach in this approach we perform integration testing from main module to Submodules when some of the submodules are under construction. So, whereas temporary program here, stub we are going to use. So, look at this diagrammatically to get some better idea here. Now, assume that the project have the three modules main module, submodule one, submodule two. Whereas main module construction completed, sub one module also construction completed, but sub two is under construction. There is a scenario when to go for the top down approach. Top means you need to start the integration testing from top level modules. From that, too, you have to go to the low level modules. That is a down. Now, from where you have to start the integration testing, that's what it says that. So, whenever some submodules are under construction, then we can start the integration testing from main module to submodules. So, whereas we can use one temporary program here, stub. Why this stub is required? Suppose one, one link is given here, link one. To connect the sub one in the main module, link two is given to connect the sub two module. Now you don't know whether sub two is under construction or not. Just are going to check the what are the links are implemented in the main module. Those are working or not. When you click on the link one, sub one is connected. When you click on the link two, sub two is not connected. Then what is the first impression we are going to get? Maybe this link two is not working. In order to overcome that, developers are going to provide the one temporary program here. Stop. What will happen is when you click on the link to this program is going to response. It gives some message to you that page under construction, and we can it will return control back to the main. So this way it is going to be used stub. The other name for the stub is called program. We are going to call other name for this called program. So one of the important what is stub means. Stub is a called program. Who is going to develop this one? Developers. 
Stub is used when sub module is under construction. Stub will return control back to main module with some temporary result. Stub will return control back to main module with some temporary result. Okay. So now let us see an example. How it is going to a simple example I will show. Neutrosdemoif.com. If I click on register link, the expectation registration form should be opened. Yes, registration form is opened. So if I click on home, application should be redirect to home. Yes, it is. Now you click on hotels. What is the expectation? Different kind of hotels information should be displayed. When I click on hotels, hotels information is not displayed. But what are the messages we got here? This section of our website is currently under construction. Sorry for any inconvenience. So back to home. That means you can go back to the home page like this. Okay. So that means here, whenever you click on this hotel link, so instead of getting the hotel's information, we got the this kind of information under construction. This section. Now you tell me. To get this type of message also, developer has to write some program or not. That type of program, nothing but we are going to call stub. That is a stub. Stub is a temporary program which is developed by the programmers. Stub is used when sub mods under construction. Stub will return control back to main module. That means we click on back this main page. And it provides some temporary message to you like this. This is the top down upper stub, how it is going to work. So, this whatever program is written to perform this kind of activity that is called a stub. Next one, bottom up approach. Whenever a main module is under construction, then we can perform integration testing from sub modules. <coughs> Try to understand by here. Based on the naming convention, what they given top down approach start integration testing from the main module, bottom up approach start the integration testing from the sub module. Which level you have to start? Why we have to go for this one? Because the main module is under construction, main module is under construction. So, like this, if you have the Gmail application. Like main model home page is there. So driver sub one is a create new account, sub two inbox, sub three compose mail, sub four sent mail. Now main is Gmail home page. Create new account, compose mail, sent mail, inbox. Okay. Now here this main is under construction, all the sub modules construction completed. In that case, one temporary program is going to be used like driver, which has a few components like email, passport, edit boxes, sign in button, create new account link, like this only it's going to be provides. Okay, so like this. This is what driver when main is under construction, driver. Suppose simple example classroom if we take classroom is there means faculty is like a main model. Okay, students are going to be sub models. Now faculty is absent, so we are going to intimate to the management team to address the students. So management is going to send the HR. To address the students about the some placements everything so like temporary information on the subject this is what the driver is going to do here right some cases what will happen the main module and sub module also under construction then we have to go for the both but here one of the important question I said that stuff means we understand what is the driver means try to see here no? Driver means here, it is also a temporary program, but this name is called calling program also are going to say.
So driver is a temporary program which is developed by programmers. Driver is used when main mode is under construction. Main mode under construction, we can go for driver. So what is the driver functionality? Driver will provide connection to sub-modules. Driver will provide connection to sub-modules. Third one, hybrid or sandwich approach. So it is a combination. That means when main model and some of sub-modules are under construction, we can go for the both stub and driver to do the integration testing among the available modules. Okay. Now question is who is going to perform the integration testing? Who will perform the integration testing? In general, both the developers and test engineers, both are going to perform the integration testing. Both developers and test engineers will perform integration testing. But try to understand the difference here. In general, developers will perform the integration testing after unit testing. After unit testing, developers will perform the integration testing. For that, they use whiteboard testing techniques. Whereas, test engineers also will perform the integration testing using blackboard testing techniques. How? Let us consider an example. So I have scenario I'm going to give. A similar scenario here. Add money to Paytm from using net banking. Now this scenario has to be tested source code level. So Paytm to suppose Paytm to ICICI Bank connection we have to test it up same way application level also they give an application to you we are also going to test this one able to add the amount into the paytm or not using the icic bank so this is what program level as well as application level both levels integration testing is required okay there's a reason both developers and testers are going to perform the integration testing. What are the questions we can expect from the integration testing? So what is integration testing? Validating interface or data communication or coexistence relation among the units or components or models is called integration testing. Integration testing approaches or types. We have the Big Bang approach and incremental approach. Next question. So, difference between stub and driver. Stub and driver. Stub is used when sub mod is under construction. Driver is used when main mod is under construction. Stub will return control back to main module with some temporary result. Driver will provide a connection to the sub modules. Other name for the stub is called program. Other name for the driver is calling program. Next question here. Who will perform integration testing? Both developers as well as test engineers, developers and test engineers. But after unit testing, initially developers are going to the integration testing using white box testing techniques, whereas 
test is also will do the integration testing, but there is no particular level. While doing system testing itself, we have to go for the integration testing. Thank you for watching the session. So try to prepare yourself. Software testing job is going to be easy. Working environment is going to be easy. Okay. So just give the commitment so that it makes easy to, to get a job. So compared to the other IT jobs, software testing is going to be easy to get a job, easy to work as a test engineer. Thank you. See you in the next session.